Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, we're going to be going over how to create a custom audience in your Facebook advertising account that includes anybody that's interacted with a form from one of your recent ads. So that may sound like a mouthful, but this one is a great audience to create and retarget towards with some Facebook ads. And it's basically anybody who's actually seen one of your ads interacted with the form you have attached to that ad. So it does have to be a lead form conversion type. I have other videos on how to set that up. So make sure you are using one of those tactics before you get here. But once you're here, welcome. And today we're going to be going over how to create this audience. So let's jump right in. First thing you're going to want to do is actually hit create audience from your audience dashboard. And then once you're there, it'll bring you to an option where you can select either custom audience, look alike, or saved. In this example, we're going to be doing a custom audience. And like I said, we'll be using the lead form as our retargeting metric. So again, make sure you already have ads running. You already have forms you have in use. But once you do, you'll be able to select the Metasource lead form as your option and hit next. From here, you're going to browse over to your page and select the option that says anyone who opened but did not submit form. This is what we want because everybody who opened it and submitted it is actually a lead. And anybody who opened the form could be some leads, some not leads. So this action right here is actually perfect for us. We want everybody who's interacted with the forum but didn't do anything. We want to go back to them and show them a new ad to see if we can actually convert them at a second or third time. Again, you have the option to specify which form you want to use. In my example, I'll just hit select all. Go ahead and do the same. Uh, you may only have one option in there or even uh, just a handful. That's okay. You can select all. You can select one. But just know that this metric is tied to that form. So if you have a lot of different forms and a lot of different campaigns, you could create a few different custom audiences based on that form because that form has now interacted with a different subset of people. So again, paid attention to which forms you're selecting. In this case, we're just going to use all of them. And then we are going to maximize the time. So we do want the full 90 days. And then from there, you're going to come down and name it. So we'll give it today's date. Get the client name. We'll use my name, Ultra by Rich. And then we're going to be doing a retargeting. And we're going to be doing a forms. So quickly, you don't necessarily need the date in this. We create so many audiences all the time that we want to know what day we did that. So that's why I add that. But it's okay just leaving it your actual brand and then we're reusing it to retarget. So it's helpful to reemphasize what the audience's purpose is and then what metric are we using to do that. So forms and feel free to fill out a description. We don't because we've come up with a system that actually explains it in the name, but feel free to put out a description as well. Okay. Now, real quick, I wanted to mention to you our done for you Facebook ads. There's a link in the description for a free one-on-one -on -one session where we actually go through your business and talk about how we can optimize and build out your campaigns. It's free to do. I definitely recommend it. Let's get back to it. That's it. Now you can select that audience when you go over to campaigns and you hit create new campaign. Let's do a leads. I'm just going to jump in here to show you where that's at. So we'll do a new campaign. Now, of course, make sure you've got your first page filled out. Looks like we're okay on this quick example, but we're going to do the forms and let's change it to ultra by rich. And then we're going to go down to the ad. And this is where you see the form. So there's all the forms. But then this example, we're going to be using the exact same lead form conversion type and we're going to be targeting there you have it forms. So you can see now this campaign that I just quickly created 
all it's doing is retargeting people that have interacted with the form and not filled it out. You do want to turn this off, but everything else you want to leave wide open. Advantage placement's okay. Just set your budget. Give it, you know, 20, 100 bucks, whatever you want per day. Have it start at midnight. And you can see only target people that have opened that form. And you'll see a nice little increase in conversions because this subset of data actually is changing every single day the longer you're running ads. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe.